Satellite located and on screen. Scanning. Computer, what is your reading? Satellite is being tracked by outside force. It can't be! What? Foreign laser heading for satellite. Danger imminent. Launch defense system. Oh no! No, no! Ryan! I need your help! Ryan! I have an emergency! Gotcha! Where are you, slime ball? Ryan, please! I'll be right there! Alert maneuver! No! Ryan, quick! I need your help! Uh, kinda busy! I need the launch codes for the missile defense system! Take that! They're on my nano drive! <sighs> are you listening to me? No, I am not! Ryan, please! What'd you do that for? My nano drive. Oh, do you need it? Yes, I need it. We have an emergency, but of course, you're too busy shooting your silly little crouton monsters to notice. They're called groutons. Ugh, they're still silly. And every time you play your little game, you become completely obsessed. I do not. Okay, maybe a little. You have way too many cameras. You tune everybody out. You forget what you're here for. Uh, aren't you forgetting what you're here for? Some missile defense system you need to launch? <gasps> oh no! Due to the recent mishap with our missile defense system, One of our surveillance satellites was shot down this morning at 10.44. Otis. Who? Otis was the name of the satellite. May he rest in peace. Rest in pieces is more like it. Pix designed him to help us keep an eye on things over at Colburn Prison. <sighs> so someone escaped, and now you need me to find him. Precisely. Only now, we don't have a satellite to track him down. So, who escaped? Leonard Nickelroy. <gasps> Leonard Nickelroy? The Leonard Nickelroy, a.k.a. Gigahert? You've heard of him? He's only the most famous computer hacker of all time. Faster than a gigabit fiber, more powerful than an octa-core processor, able to hack 17 cities on a single monitor. He looks kind of nerdy. He once made a working computer using only a sponge, three toothpicks, and a gumdrop. Big deal. He was four years old. At age seven, he remotely launched one of our space shuttles and sent it to Neptune. When he was eight, I got it, I got it. The nerd knows his way around a computer. You can count on me to bring him in. Where do I find him? That's your mission, both of you. Find Gigahert and stop whatever that dangerous criminal's up to. Consider it done. And then, when he was 12 years old, he hacked into an international database and tried to take over the United Nations. Would you just relax? I am freaking out! I don't even know where to start. Okay, I guess I can start a satellite recovery program to see if there's anything we can salvage. Then, you try hunting him down using the new facial recognition software, and then... Ryan! What? Unbelievable! We're in the middle of an important mission, and you stop to play a ridiculous video game. <gasps> what? No way. What is it? They just released Grumpy Ducks 3. <laughs> Grumpy Ducks? <laughs> that silly game where you throw ducks at cows on a swing set? You want to talk about ridiculous games. It wasn't supposed to be out for another week. Why would they release it early? 
So, about this important mission? Oh, they have baby ducks now. Shouldn't we be working on... This is epic! Pix! Pix! Okay, ignore me. I get the point. I'll just go find the bad guy by myself. <laughs> All right. Now, if I were an evil nerd, where would I go? Hello? 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 Gigahertz. <laughs> um, excuse me? Oh, cool. Excuse me? I can't believe it's out already. Your store has just been robbed. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, you're excused. What? No! Someone came in here and stole all your stuff! Whatever. Did you see where he went? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, thanks a lot for your help. <laughs> that was rude. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen any evil computer geniuses around? <laughs> Level five! Um... Hello? Hello? Ryan to Pix, are you there? Ryan to Pix, do you copy? Pick up, Pix. I need your help. Hello? Get him. Get him. Get him! Something's not right. Oh, no. Mom? Ryan. What are you doing here? Mr. Bradburn said Freedom would pay for this new purse, since mine was destroyed on our last mission. But when I tried to go in, that strange receptionist totally ignored me. In fact, she won't even look at me. She's too busy playing with her phone. Oh, no! <laughs> Ooh. Ethel? Ethel? Ooh. Ethel! She said something about level 10 and hasn't stopped mooing since. Oh, no! Ooh! Ethel! <sighs> it's like someone has hacked into her brain or something. Hmm. She kind of reminds me of you when you play with your phone and... Gigahurt! Giga what? He must be using this game as some sort of mind control. Pix! Hurry! We've got to get to her before... Oh no! We're too late! What's happening? Gigahertz hacked into everyone's brains and has turned the whole town into a bunch of mooing cows! Now we don't know that. Snap out of it, Pix! I need your help! No. Quit ignoring me! No. Everyone's just sucked into this silly little game! Gotcha! Mom? Oh, oh, sorry! I noticed you had the new Triforce helmet, and I just wanted to try it out. You play Alien Invader? It's only like the best video game ever. I'm a level Grootopian. I've never seen you play. Of course not. Whenever I'm with you, I don't go off playing some game. I want to spend time with you. What are we doing? We have an emergency here. We've got to do something to break this effect. Think. Think. Well, when you used to get sucked into a game like Pix or, well, that woman upstairs, I just turned the game off. What did you say? I said I'd just turn it off. That's it! Mom, you're a genius! What? Oh. If we make it out of this mess, I'm taking you out to dinner. Okay, now 
I need to go to Grumpy Duck's headquarters and turn off the game. Ahem. <clears throat> Don't you mean we need to go? Mom, no! Just because you helped on a mission once before... I'm your mother, and I'm coming with you. Mom, it's dangerous! End of discussion. <sighs> Fine. But you follow my lead. Okay. <laughs> So how do we get in? I don't know. There are cameras everywhere. I have an idea. Locked. Why don't we just use the key? What? Where'd you get that? Under the mat. <sighs> That's it! Wait! Oh, mints! Can I have one? <laughs> Never mind. You keep watch. I'll take care of the computer. You're doing great, son. I'm so proud of you. Be careful. Watch your step. Mom! Sorry. Just a little positive reinforcement. Begin. And look! Just look at those screens! Ryan, help me look here. Just think how much fun this could be! Ryan! Yeah. This is so... Whoa. Stop! <laughs> Sorry, dear! Hurt. Well, well, well. If it isn't Freedom's little spyware. And I see you brought your motherboard. <laughs> I must admit, Ryan, I'm hurt that you didn't get a chance to play my little video game. I need everyone to like it if I'm going to take over the world. <laughs> but Perhaps some of my little friends here can change your mind. All right, boys, let's scramble their hard drives! Wait! What? Before you do your scrambled egg thing, uh, would you like a mint? What? Ryan, honey, why don't you offer our new friend here a mint? Mm -hmm. Gladly. <laughs> Impressive, but... Let's see how you fare against the world's largest cyber bully, Mega Moo! Mega? That is one giant metal burger. Hey, Ryan, you might want to increase your processing speed. <laughs> I'll distract RoboCal while you shut down the mainframe. Copy? Copy what? No, just shut down the mainframe. 
Gotcha! Wait! What's a mainframe? The big computer! <laughs> that all you got? Fire those rockets? Well, that didn't seem to do anything. Oh, purple's my favorite color. What's going on? Let's try green. Orange? Oh, blue. make no sense <laughs> unless I've been hacked Ryan D. Brady's <laughs> no one hacks me <laughs> What? Oh, right, Mom! Mom? <gasps> it's you! Get her! Uh-oh! Hang in there, Mom! <laughs> whoa, whoa, what just happened? Where am I? What's going on? What is this place? Hey, Gigahurt! Looks like your little operation just got unplugged. Ryan and Freddy's! I don't like being brainwashed. You, sir, are under arrest. Well, Gigahurt is safely locked up at Coldman Prison. And once again, the agency is indebted to you, Mrs. DeFreitas, for your involvement on this mission. Especially since most of our agents were, uh, slightly distracted. For the record, Gigahertz used a complex optic transmission sensor to dull our brains and enhance the addictive nature of the game to make you moo and cluck. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, you can put that in your report. Right away. Good work, everyone. <laughs> People were walking around like zombies, and when I needed help the most, it was not to be found. My conclusion, while electronic games have their place, they can never replace people, and we, uh, I should say, I need to value people, respect my time with them, and appreciate them. After all, I'd rather be with real people than with a bunch of zombie cows any day. Report final, conclude. Report for mission 38801 complete. Logic conclusion commenced. Thank you, Agent Ryan. Well, ready for that dinner you promised? All set. Cool. They just came out with a new version of Alien Invader. I can't wait to <clears throat> go out and have a nice meal with the both of you without any distractions. So tell me, what did you do today? Hi there, I'm Kendra, and this is my brother Jeremy, and we are the writers of Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. In today's episode, Ryan faces an evil computer genius and learns that video games are awesome, except when they distract us from what's really important. I don't think you realize this, but when you play this game, you tune everybody else out. It's rude. <clears throat> um, excuse me? Oh, cool. Excuse me? Snap out of it, Pix! I need your help! No. Quit ignoring me! No. 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 Yikes! 
Looks like Ryan had to learn things the hard way. He was so addicted to his game that he was being rude to the people around him. But then Gigahurt hacked into everyone's brain and Ryan learned what it felt like to be ignored. And he did not like it. Of course not. No one likes to be ignored when they're trying to talk. But when someone looks at you and pays attention, it makes you feel like they care. And that's the way God wants us to treat other people. Sometimes we need to be quiet, pay attention, and listen just like Samuel. In the Bible, there was a boy named Samuel who loved God with all his heart and served as a helper to the high priest. One night, as he lay sleeping, Samuel heard a voice. Samuel, Samuel. Thinking it was the high priest, the boy ran to see what he needed. But to his surprise, the priest had not called him. So Samuel returned to his bed and lay down. No sooner had he closed his eyes than... Samuel. And just like he did the first time, Samuel went to see what the priest needed, only to realize that he had not called him. So Samuel went back to bed. But soon... Samuel. For the third time that night, Samuel made his way to the priest. Realizing that perhaps the Lord God was the one who was calling Samuel, the priest told him, Go back to bed, and if you hear the voice again, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel returned to his room. Samuel. Speak, Lord, said Samuel, for your servant is listening. That night, God spoke to Samuel and told him many wonderful and amazing things. You see, God wanted to speak to Samuel, but he would have missed God's message if he hadn't taken the time to listen. Let's do our best to respect God and others by giving them our full attention when we need to. We hope you'll join us next time on Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. <laughs>